By the end of this video, you would have set up your Unity project with the Kinetics SDK and you'll see how to bring your characters to life using emotes. Now before we begin, I'd like to thank our today's sponsor, Kinetics. Kinetics has developed a no-code 3D creation tool that's powered by AI. Their free web-based studio leverages AI motion capture to convert our 2D videos into 3D animation. And the smart editing features allow us to modify those animations. In short, we get to express ourselves through emotes. If you want to know more about emotes, and why they are the future then you should definitely check out this video over here all right now let's see how to download and set up the sdk in our unity project all right so here we have the documentation from kinetics i will leave a link for this in the description we're going to follow each of the steps mentioned here download and set up the sdk now before we begin we have to create a new unity project and just so that you know this sdk is going to work with any version that is greater than 2020 0.3 LTS. All right, so here I'm going to create a new project which is of version 2021.3.26 F1. Let us name it as emotes sdk and click on create project all right so here we have a new unity project open now going back to the documentation the first step would be to set up our environment which means that we need to import two dependent packages which are the newton soft json and the input system so all we need to do is copy this go back into our unity project click on windows package manager click on the plus symbol and click on add packages from git url and paste it over here and then click on add so the newtons of json has been added successfully now we can go back to the documentation copy the input system go back to the project and let's click on the plus symbol add packages from git url paste it here and click on add once again while importing the input system you will receive a prompt saying that the new system package is being used and would you like to enable the backend so we'll click on yes now this should restart your unity editor all right so we have the input system packages imported as well now there's one last thing to do and that is to import the text mesh pro essentials and to do that you can click on windows text mesh pro and click on import text mesh pro essential resources and click on import all right so with that we have completed first step let's go back into the documentation and see what to do next now the next step is to import the kinetics unity sdk and to do that you need to scroll down and copy the git url code and then go back to your unity project and follow the same procedure as before that is windows package manager click on the plus symbol and click on add packages from git url paste it here and click on add once you have the packages imported you can click on the kinetics button here package manager and then you can import the emote wheel bundle either for web 2 or web 3. For now, I'm going to install it for web 2. Once that's done, you can make sure that you have the packages successfully imported by going back to the package manager and making sure that you have the kinetics UI emote wheel package over here. Then you can click on samples and click on the emote wheel samples. All right. So with that, we have completed the step number two. Now let's go back to the documentation and see what to do next. So the last step here would be to get your virtual world ID key. And you can do that by filling up this form on their website and you should have it in your inbox within 24 hours. Once you have received your virtual world ID key, you can test it out by going back to your Unity project. Open the samples, kinetics, emote wheel, the version, wheel samples and demo scene and open up the basic scene and then click on sample script and paste your virtual world ID inside this parameter and then press play and now you can click on this button to open up the emote wheel and in the emote wheel you can choose any of the emotes that you would like to apply so let's say anger and it's going to apply that emote to your character which is super cool all right so with that we have set up the kinetics sdk with our unity project next let's see how to import our custom avatar and add emotes to it now to do that i've created a sample scene and imported a free 3d character from sketchfab once you have your 3d character imported Select the 3D model and in the rigging window, make sure that your animation type is humanoid. If not, select humanoid from the drop down window and click on apply. Now this will make sure that your character has a humanoid avatar attached to it. Next, go back into the asset folder and create a C sharp script called as emote integration. Double click to open it and I will see you in Visual Studio. Alright, so here we are in Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and get rid of this code over here and add the packages that we'll be requiring. The first one is going to be using kinetics.ui and the second one is going to be using kinetics.ui.emoteWheel. Alright, now let's declare some of the variables that we'll be requiring. The first one is going to be the animator component from the character and the second one is going to be the virtual world ID key. So we can type it as serialize field private animator and name the variable as character animator. Next, we'll create another serialize field private and this time is going to be string 
and we'll call this as virtual world id key next in the awake method we want to initialize the kinetic score and pass in a new kinetics configuration so we will type it as awake kinetic score dot initialize and in here we want to pass a new kinetics core configuration open close parenthesis and semicolon all right now let's have a look at some of the parameters that come under the kinetic score configuration and to do that we'll jump back into the documentation here you can see that there are uh, four main parameters the virtual world id which we can set and we can either set the play automatically animation on animators to true or false it's a bool variable and we can enable analytics again it's a bool variable and show log which is true or false which is a bool variable again so now going back to visual studio we can create a new configuration and after you open and close the parenthesis let us uh, open the curly brackets and in here we want to say the virtual world id key is going to be the virtual world id key that we are going to get from the unity editor and then uh, you can we can leave the rest as it is so we don't want to change any of them so we'll just leave it at this perfect next we want to create a callback method when the kinetic score has been initialized so we will do that before initializing it so we can type kinetic score dot on initialized plus equal equal to and let us name it as kinetic score on initialized and this will create a method as well so right now there's nothing inside it so we'll go ahead and delete it now one thing that's always good to remember is that once you subscribe to an event it's always important to unsubscribe as well so we will say on destroy we want to take the kinetic score dot on initialized callback event and unsubscribe it as well perfect once the kinetic score has been initialized we want to do three things the first one is to initialize the emote wheel the second one is to associate the character animator with the kinetic score animator and the third one is to create a user account and connect that to kinetic score so let's start by initializing the emote wheel to do that we can type kinetics ui emote wheel dot initialize and here we need to pass in the kinetics ui emote wheel configuration since we don't have one we'll use a new keyword and we'll create a new configuration file next we'll type kinetic score dot animation dot register local player animator and we'll pass in the character animator and finally we'll use the kinetic score dot account and in here we want to say connect account and we need to pass in two variables the first one is going to be the user id and the second one could be the uh, callback function when the account has been successfully connected so we'll call the user uh, id as uh, user1 for now user1 and we'll create a method on account connected let's click put the semicolon all right so now in order to create this method you can just click on it and press on control plus dot and click on enter and there we go so it's created a method for us so now when the account has been created we want to assign the emotes to the user how do we do that we can do that by assigning the emote ids now to get the emote id you can visit their website under the emote integration tab you will be able to find three basic uh, emote ids now if you want more you can click over here and you will get an entire catalog for now let's copy this uh, emote id over here and go back to our script and in here we want to type kinetic score dot account dot associate emote to user and let's pass in the emote id that we copied and let's put semicolon and that's about it so you can save the script and let's go back into unity all right so here we are back in unity let us first go ahead and add the character to our scene and then create an empty game object and we'll call this as emote integration then to this game object you can go ahead and add the emote integration script that we wrote which needs an animator component so you can select the character and drag and drop in this make sure to add your virtual world id key as well next in the hierarchy you can right click select ui and let's create a button you can see the button here so now when the button is clicked we want to show the kinetics ui so to do that you will have to open up the script once again so in here we want to create a public method which is going to be public void on click now when this method is called if the ui emote wheel is already seen then we want to hide it if it is hidden then we want it to be seen so it's going to be simple uh, if else condition so if the kinetics ui dot is shown then we want to say kinetics ui dot hide all else kinetics ui dot show 
and let's save the script and go back to unity all right so here we are back in unity now we can select the button and scroll down so when it is clicked we want to take the emote integration and we want to take the emote integration and say on click all right so now we can test it out so click on play and if you click on the button you can see that the emote ui wheel is here and in the bag you would have the same uh, animation that we selected earlier the pointing finger one so you can drag and drop it in here then click on wheels and once you select it the animation gets played on the custom avatar which is amazing all right now let's see how to allow the users to create their custom emotes and add it to their avatars now this is really simple because it has already been integrated into the sdk so you don't have to write any extra line of code so when you press the play button or when the app has been running you can click on the button to open the UI emote wheel and here you have an option to create. Once you select that, it shows up a QR code which you can scan using your phone or you can click on this link and it will open a web browser for you. Once you're here, you can either record a video or upload one which I'm going to do right now. Click on get started and let's add the video. Now this is a free video that I downloaded from the Pixels website. Let's just click on continue. So here we need to provide an emote name. So I'm going to call this as Spinny. There we go. Let's click on the checkbox, click on continue. Is it a matured audience restricted? No, it's not. Click on continue. I agree to the terms and click on proceed. And that's about it. It's so simple. So it says that your emote will be in your bag in 15 minutes. So I will see you once that's done. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. So let's press play and test it out and see if the emote has been added to our bag. We'll click on the button and go to bag. And here you can see that the uh, emote has been added. You can select it, drag and drop it into the emote wheel. Now let's select the emote wheel. And if we select this, the dance move from the 2D video has been added to our avatar, which is amazing. All right, so moving on to the last part of this video, which is the Kinetics API. As you can see here, Kinetics have listed some of their APIs that can be used to perform some action. For example, you will be able to create a new user to your virtual world or you'll be able to add emote or assign them to your virtual world which can be later used to assign to different users as well and uh, you'll be able to get the user's emote information or you'll be able to get to know which are the different emotes that are currently assigned to your particular virtual world now let's test this api over here in the swagger document now the first thing to do here is to authorize the read write and tokens now i'm using the same virtual world id that i got and if we scroll down the first thing to do here is to add users to your virtual world so let's try it out now user i'm going to call this as probably first user and click on execute so this is the response that i got so it's created a virtual world user called as first user and it has captured the date and time as to when the user was created next i can uh, go ahead and uh, add emotes to our virtual world so let's try this out as well now to get the emotes uh, you know where to go you will have to go back to the documentation and uh, copy it from the catalog over there so let's do that let's go back here let's go to emote integration and uh, let's check out the catalog from here i'm just going to randomly select an emote and let's copy the emote id of this go back to the swagger document and uh, let's remove this one over here we just need one for now and paste it there we go so it is 8874ad we just remember this so that we can check it out later on and click on execute so here's the status it has been successfully added to our virtual world so next we can go ahead and add it to our user as well so let's add the emote to our user so let's scroll up and here we go let's try it out there we go and let's paste the same uh, emote id all right so it has been successfully added to the user perfect now we can also go ahead and uh, check out the different emotes that are being used in our virtual world so if i select this and try it out and click on execute here it will show you the list of uh, emote id that i have been using so let's check it out so there have been different emotes id that has been assigned so if you remember earlier during this video we added different emotes for crying anger we created our own so all those are listed over here all right now the one last thing that we can also check out is uh, which emote is being added to the user so we can try it out we just add it again so first user 
and click on execute and here you can see the response now remember this code like 8874 so this was the emote that we added to the user so all the rest of the things have been added as well perfect all right so that's it for this video if you want to know more about kinetics sdk then do let us know in the comments below and if you felt that this video was helpful then i'd highly appreciate it you can leave a like and subscribe as well and as always i will see you in the next one